What's up everybody? Welcome back to Tucky Vlogs. On this video, we're going to be going and picking up a Buick from the mechanic shop. It's been there for a couple weeks now. I just haven't made it back from being so busy with the flip house and moving and everything to be able to go back and pick that car up. He changed the radiator and condenser. We went and got that from the junkyard. We didn't get to record that part of it. And we didn't get to record picking it up from where we bought it from. It was bought on ACV. And if you stay till the end of the video, you'll find out what I paid for this car and how much I paid fixing the radiator and everything. And then how much I'm paying for all the parts to rebuild the front of it. Because it had a front end hit on this car. It's still a clean title vehicle, but it has a front end hit where they ran into something and it looked like they kind of hit it real high and they went up under something. So it had a hit like that. So wait till the end of the video to find out how much all this cost to fix and what I paid for it. I did get this car for a really good price and we're driving the 03 Chevy Venture right now. And the exhaust is a little loud on this video on this vehicle so I don't know how much you can hear that but hopefully you can hear me good enough so we're gonna go pick this car up and we're gonna check it out see what we're gonna do to it we're gonna run to the junkyard today make sure we get the hood and stuff for it because we've got about half of the things for this car already but then there's a couple more things that we have to get I know we still have to go pick up the hood for it we got to pick up the hood latch for it and then this piece that the hood latch bolts onto we still need that we already got the headlights we got the bumper cover for it and we got the grill for it we got the little turn signal lights for it so we've got most of it so we're going to pick the rest of the parts up for it today so that'll all be on this video but then fixing this car will be on a different video so make sure you stay tuned to see us fix this car and then get this car sold and how much we make on it so let's pick this car up and then we'll be back made it back to the lot we went and got the buick from the mechanic and we got it back out here now so i'm gonna flip the camera around and let you see what this car looks like this is a pretty decent car we didn't pay very much for it so let me flip this and show you what it looks like All right, so as you see, this is a pretty nice looking car. Got a big old back seat in this thing. They had fun back in the day, if you know what I mean. But anyways, this is a pretty nice looking car. And I think somebody really did take care of this car, but then they just ended up getting hit by somebody or they ran into the back of someone. So I think this is gonna be a pretty decent car. We got the radiator changed out and um, he was going to change the condenser and ended up not changing it. He said that the air conditioner was fully charged and was doing pretty good. So he left that left that without opening it up and letting all the antifreeze, I mean all the Freon out of there and having to recharge it. He left that alone. He put it onto the new radiator that he put onto the vehicle. And then he changed the radiator fan on it. And then... He changed the valve cover gaskets on this vehicle because it was leaking oil pretty bad. So we got to get some purple power and give it a wash off to get rid of the old oil that had built up from leaking. Because it had a pretty pretty good leak out of it. And um, you could see it just puddling up on there. So we got that changed out. Now we got to finish changing out the parts on the front of this thing. And then we're going to have to paint them because... We couldn't find the parts in the same color, so we got to take the parts and paint them and then clear coat them and get them to match as close as we can to this vehicle. A lot of times you never can get it perfectly matched because I'm not a really good person at painting. I just can do it decent enough to pass. All right, someone pulled up. I thought they were going to ask about a vehicle, but for some reason they just pulled up, turned the vehicle off, and then took off when they seen me. So I don't know what they were, what they were up to, but anyways... 
so we've got to probably paint them and i just do a um color match on it i'll explain that when i'm painting the video if you don't know how to match up the paint and stuff like that so i'll explain that i just do it with a spray can but i get certain paint so that it matches as close as i can so i'll explain that in another video in the next video on this vehicle because we'll be making another a second video where we put it together and then a third video will probably be where we sell it and how much we make on it so i'll show you the radiator and stuff and then we're going to get into how much we got into this vehicle and what we paid for it and everything like that so let me show you that and then we'll go into the office and we'll talk about numbers all right so i got bumper cover right there messed up so that's got to be changed we're missing the hood latch that goes right here as a bar and then the actual hood latch right there in the middle of it we changed the crash bar out well, that's not actually crash bar. I think that's considered radiator support. And then this is crash bar right there that's not messed up. And then you got the hood messed up. So that's gotta be changed. And then we changed this radiator right there. We left the condenser. And that made her good for now until we change out all the parts. Let's talk numbers now. This is a 2000 Buick Sabre. It's a limited edition trim. We ended up getting this car for $150. That's a really cheap price. That does not happen very often. That price was only because of the damage on the front of that front of this car. If it wouldn't have been from that, this car wouldn't have been so cheap at the auction. We picked this up from the dealer auction. This place was four hours away from us. So we had to get the U-Haul trailer and um, the trailer cost us $60 and then going four hours away and then four hours back and gas cost us about, it was right at about $140. So you're $200 into it, just going and picking the car up. So that makes you at $350. So you're $350 into it now just from going and picking it up from $150. Now we got it back to the car lot. It had the damage on the front of it. So we went and got a bumper cover that was about um, $45, I believe. And then we ended up getting the headlights for it, the blinker lights for it, the grill for it. And all that ended up being about $75 for that. Then we had to go back again uh, for a second time after having the mechanic look at the vehicle. He told us it needed a radiator and condenser changed out on it. So we went back to the junkyard a second time. So then we picked up the radiator and condenser from the junkyard. That was about, and that was $75 for the radiator and condenser. So that added together was $150 from junkyard parts. So that takes us to to $500 altogether. I had to add that up real fast, but so that makes us 500 into it with the junkyard parts and buying the car, picking, bringing the car back. And then we took it to the, to the mechanic shop and he changed out the radiator on it, the radiator fan, the condenser on there. And then he changed valve cover gaskets. No, that's another, that's another. So I, I just forgot about the valve cover gaskets. All right, so I had to add the valve cover gaskets. I completely forgot about that. That was like $40, I believe. I had to go back and look at that to make sure it was, but I believe there were $40 for the valve cover gaskets. So that makes us $540 into this car. And then the labor of him putting all that onto the vehicle was $100. So we just paid that when we picked it up. So that makes us $640 into this car. So a car that started out at only $150, now we're $640 into this vehicle. And we still have to go back and get a hood for this car. We still have to get a hood latch for this vehicle. And we still have to paint the vehicle after we change out that. So you let me know. Comment down below if you think this car was worth it. What? Tell me what you think this car is worth when it's fixed to sell. It's got 200,000 miles on it. I think it's right under there at 198 or 196,000 miles. So you let me know what's, what you think this car is worth. 
let me know if you think this car was worth it or if or if you don't think you would have messed with this car i this was the first vehicle i tried out that had damage on it that i wanted to see how it would go i don't know how i feel about it yet we'll see when we're done with it and how much we make on it if it was worth the extra time having to rebuild a car like this so just make sure you comment down below and let me know what you if you think this car was worth it or not and what you think this car would sell for when it was fixed so until the next video we'll see you in the next one and we'll be back with another video when we're fixing this car so make sure y'all watch for that one and we got a lot of other videos coming out on different different things we're fixing to do some bondo work on an 03 chevy venture van so we're going to be recording that one so watch for that i'm going to be doing that right after i end this video um we just got finished painting the flip house if i haven't said that already so make sure you all watch for the different videos coming out because we got a lot of them that we're making and then we're scheduling the videos to drop on different days so make sure y'all subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up if you like the video and if you like cars that has to be rebuilt on the channel make sure you hit the thumbs up if you don't like vehicles that have to be rebuilt on the on the channel hit the thumbs down and comment down below if you want to give me any feedback so until the next one we'll see you in the next one